move for the admission of um, 92, 93, and 94, and then I think we're also going to do a general moving like we discussed. Okay. Uh, so, no objection. All right. So you may publish. Um, when we're so when we're seeing this text message here that's on the screen, is who is this a is this a text message from that phone or to that phone? It is a text message from the 928 number to the 505 number. Okay, and can you read it for us? The content? Yes. Yes, it's uh, LOL. I don't need that tonight anyways. Right on, I might go smoke in the jacuzzi soon, but maybe not, I'm so pooped. Okay, and I'm gonna show you the second page of exhibit 94. And is that a text to or from Ms. Gutierrez's phone? It is from her phone. And it is to the 505 number? Correct. And if, if you can, and, and what's what's the date? Uh, the date is October 20th, 2021 at 7.48 and 46 seconds uh, p.m. local time. Okay. And uh, can you read that for us? It says, headed down to get high out back, colon B. Okay. I'm gonna show you the third page of exhibit 94. And what's in the blue? Uh, so the blue is an incoming message from that 505 number to her phone. And just for context, what, what does that message say? Uh, that message says, time to eat now, how the blaze says go. And then is there a, res and what time, what time was that message sent? Uh, so that message was received by the phone at 8.24 and 46 seconds p.m. in red at 8.25 and 47 seconds. Okay. Uh, and so what your, this is the time that it was received? Correct. And this is the time it was read? Correct. And uh, then is, is there a response to that text that we're looking at here in green? There is. And, and, and uh, what time is that sent? Uh, that is sent at 8 8.25 and 53 seconds. And this is from Ms. Gutierrez's phone to the 505 number? Yes. And, and what, is, what does that text message say? It says, I'm still smoking. Okay, thank you. Uh, did you sort of separate out for me uh, a short thread uh, between Ms. Gutierrez's phone and the Dad Kula contact? Yes. I'm going to show you what I'm marking as States Exhibit 95. States Exhibit 95 is a two-page exhibit. May I approach? Yes. Mr. Hawks, do you recognize that? I do. What is that? Uh, these are messages that were exchanged between the 928 number and the Dad Kula contact on November 8th of 2021. Approximately what time? Uh, it starts at 4.08 and 36 seconds and it ends at 5.36, I'm sorry, 5.24 uh, and 38 seconds. States Exhibit 95 and ask permission to publish. No objection. All right, States 95 is admi uh, admitted. You may publish.
And that message, is that from the 928 number? Correct. So any of the messages that are in green are from the 928 number, and any messages in blue are from an outside number. Okay. And can everybody read that? That way I don't have to have Mr. Hawks read it. Um, and then uh, I'm going to show you the second page, if everybody's had a moment to read that. I'll show you the second page. Um, and in the second page, what are we looking at here? Uh, so the, the top blue box is the response from the previous message that says, will do. Uh, and then beneath that is an image that was sent to her phone from the outside number. What are we looking at there? Uh, we're looking at a thumbnail of the image that was sent to her phone. So the image name is img underscore 0686.heic, and we're looking at the inset thumbnail. And were you able to collect that actual photo for me so we don't have to look at a thumbnail? Yes. Thank you. We'll get there in a minute. At my request, did you separate a text thread between Ms. Gutierrez, the Dad Kula contact, and a contact by the name of Jason Bowles? Yes. And Mr. Hawks, do you recognize that? I do. And what is that? This is part of the text message thread that you were just referencing. And what's the date of that text exchange? Uh, what is in front of me here starts on December 1st, 2021 and ends also December 1st, 2021. and permission to publish. No objections. Page 96 is admitted. You may publish. Can you just briefly explain what we're looking at here? Uh, sure. So the top blue box is a message from the Dadcula contact to Ms. Gutierrez's phone. And the second blue box is an incoming message from Mr. Bowles 
number to Ms. Gutierrez's phone. So were the, was this a... Your Honor, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Can we approach just a moment? Oh, sure. Uh, Mr. Hawks, let, let me back up for just a moment. <clears throat> How do we know that three people were involved in this uh, text conversation? So the Cellbrite program will pull out text threads. So if, if um, you and I have a text thread and you and I and another person have a text thread, those are two separate threads in my phone. So what we're looking at here is a thread that was between these three people. Okay. Um, this is not a thread that was only between Ms. Gutierrez and Mr. Bowles. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Has everybody had an opportunity to read that? I'm going to show you the second page of State's Exhibit 96. <laughs> And Mr. Hawks, can you tell me what we're looking at here? Yeah, we're, we're looking at a continuation of that same text thread. So the top blue box is an incoming message from the contact from Mr. Bowles. Uh, the green box beneath that is an outgoing message to both because it's a group thread. Uh, and then the bottom blue box is an incoming message from the DADCULA contact. Okay. Everybody have an opportunity to read those? I know they're pretty short, and at this point they may not make much sense. But we're getting there. I'm going to show you the... One of the jurors didn't see it. Oh. I'm going to show you page three. Can council approach, please? 